Hello everyone. This video is about King Face. Y'all may know him by supporting Trump. He is a community activist. His real name is Larry Henry. King Face is currently in a coma. They have a GoFundMe page set up for him. He is currently at $69,000. The goal is to reach $100,000. On the flip side, his ex-girlfriend claims that he gave her AIDS. She met him in 2019. On March 13th, they had intercourse. And she began having flu-like symptoms. At first, she got a negative result. She went back again, and the results were positive. She experienced high fever, hives, and other symptoms. Let's listen to what she had to say him March 13th um we got into a relationship shortly after um March uh, March 23rd or March, in the 20s I can find out the exact dates for you guys because I have the hospital bill because I didn't have insurance at that time um I went to the hospital three separate occasions because I would wake up with the fever hives and then it would go away um I got on antibiotics nothing worked they tested me for the flu for strep throat for all other STDs as well and everything came out negative. Everything kept on coming out negative because I was still in the acute stage. Remember, I had just contracted it March 13th, March 14th, when we, when we first no, started. No, she's an actual Trump supporter and she's a conservative. Go ahead. Finish saying yes. what you're saying. Yeah, I am. <laughs> MAGA. Anyway, but, um, nah, um, basically, uh, yeah, so um, by March 20s, I was I felt very, very ill, very, very sick. It was the worst time. I was getting, like, um, canker sores. It was very disgusting. Um, and, and just a very uncomfortable period in my life. Um, Angel was very much aware of everything that was happening, everything that I was going through. He didn't like talking about it. I couldn't express myself the way I'm expressing myself now with you guys. We couldn't have that conversation. If I ever brought up a conversation of, oh, babe, let's go to the doctor. I'll go with you. Let's go together. If you're afraid, if you're ashamed, I'm with you. He literally, word for word, shut the fuck up. I don't need your negative energy. And 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 that just speaks to me that someone that was afraid, someone that was really just a, scared of their, their own true reality. So, you know, he distracted himself with all these other things, but that's beside the point. Um, so uh, we fast forward to June. I'm still not feeling better. I mean, I got better because once your acute stage passes, like the symptoms come and go. You can kind of like fake the funk until it starts getting really, really bad. So um, after March, I was I was feeling better. I wasn't getting fevers anymore. The rashes pretty much went away, but I felt uncomfortable inside my body. Like I knew that something still was not right, so that's what made me go to the uh, go to the doctor in June. Even though I was in a, a monogamous relationship, um, so I thought I went to the doctors in June, and then that's when they finally confirmed because it was actually in my blood bloodstream enough um, for them to actually find it, and that's when I uh, discovered that I was HIV positive. I told him, um, I told him, and 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 he looked at me in the eyes. His eyes got a little a little teary. And for him, I think that he just felt bad because he knew that he had done it again. You know, like a part of him, just like the, the human part of him felt that pain because the, the love that I had for him, and as I'm sure everyone else around here, it was very genuine. It's very real. Um, so his eyes got a little teary eyed. And then he looked at me. And he said, I'm never going to leave you. Don't worry. Like, we got this or like something along those lines. And it was just really confusing for me because I didn't understand, like, if someone, if I was in his shoes and my partner just told me something that serious, of course, I would be supportive. But that wasn't support. If that wasn't love. That was just we're not talking about it no more. And we did not Every time that I would try to bring it up, it was a problem. It was a nasty, nasty, nasty fight. And. It would hurt me because I was watching him die before me, before my eyes. It got to the point that we couldn't have sex just when I wanted to. And I don't want to get that private, but it, I, was, I was seeing it happen. I was seeing it happen. He would wake up, his lungs, really stuffy. He blamed it on allergies. But how long does allergy season last? I mean, come on. And um, every like his muscles, I got him, I wanted to get him a purple bed, $3,000. I wanted to buy it for him. He, he didn't he, he didn't want that. He said, babe, we could use that money for something else, whatever. And um, because his back, all of his muscles, everything, everything would always hurt him. He doesn't work out. Like, it, like there's, there's, anyway, 
um, I tried my best to love him the best way that I could. And I think that in me doing this is also showing the love that I have for him because I don't want, uh, first of all, I don't want you guys, I know that you guys are going to feel however you, however you want to feel. And more people are going to come up and talk about this blog sites. This is not like, this is just the beginning of it. So I want you guys to know from people that actually love him that, that yes, this is horrible. And yes, I wish this didn't happen, but this is where we are. I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys donated to him, your hard earned working money, money that you like sacrifice your time for. Your but family. he is in the hospital. So I don't want to, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like he's in the hospital. He's definitely in the hospital. I want to get to because there's no, a lot I'm of people not, I'm in not, here. I'm not negating that. I'm not negating that. I'm just, I understand why people feel so attached because they too, in a way, are kind of affected by this news. I'm, I don't want to be insensitive to that is what I'm saying. Um, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to say that he is or he isn't. I, I, I want him to make it out of this. I really just want to touch base on the reason why I'm even saying something now is because other people are talking about it. Like, other women are really out here telling their stories that I cannot say. It's not my place to say, but they're really out here. So I'm, um, it's not for a selfish reason. It's not for a selfish game, but um, I reported him in November and it's, it's, um, I kept, I kept on having dreams like of just me being an enabler. Like I felt like I was enabling him by protecting him and protecting his name and protect. I don't know what I was trying to protect. I'm really not sure where the fear stemmed from. Um, I did obey him. I will say that he knew how to control the people he was with, his women. He, and, and you guys know that this is not, this is not news to anyone. No, she said that she spoke with other women who had sex with him unprotected. They were involved with other people, so they may have given their partner HIV as well. And King Face is also married. Let's take a listen at King Face when he was at his best. Yo, you, know, so, you know what's so fun to me? I'm looking at a lot of people in my comments that I know personally, some people that I've seen had RIPs that I don't know, really know personally. And I never seen them this outraged when they boy got killed by another a black man. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas didn't say nothing, ain't he? One, I miss you and I love you. You never be forgotten and you for they forget them. You don't hear nobody talking about them until the year comes and somebody posts some shit to remind them that, oh yeah, that person died. It's funny to me how y'all going so hard for somebody y'all don't even fucking know. It's we left y'all hood, boy. And y'all talk about white people, how they treat motherfuckers. How you know? Thanks for watching, you guys. Until next time, bye-bye.